minute I walked in, I, I just knew that it was right for us. You really do get that feeling. I think when, a bit like you know, when you buy a house, you walk through the front door and you know that house is for you. The minute I walked through the front door here, I knew it would be brilliant for Elgato Negro. We seem to have had quite a big following from Leeds, even in the early days of Elgato Negro. So it was always on our radar to come back to Leeds. Um, it literally has been finding the right building. But some of these dishes go back right to day one. You know, there's dishes on this menu that were on the menu at Ripplenden. And also, interesting, those dishes that I brought back from, we're not even done in Manchester. And I knew because of the sort of audience that there would be dishes that would sort of hit a, hit a note with people, like the Syrian lentils, which was a huge uh, dish at Ripplenden. And hasn't really featured anywhere else, but it's been back on here for the short period of time we've been open and, and it's as popular as it was before. It's, it's taking Spanish ingredients with the experience I've got as a chef and making you know fairly contemporary Spanish food and, and tasting as well, it's, it's got a taste. I, I still feel that we, we went through a process of, of being chosen to go on the, the F word and, and it was a competition. And then within a very, very short space of time, you know, we were full six weeks in advance, 12 weeks in advance. It really was a huge turning point for that business, you know, and put us on the map. That day when Gordon Ramsay was literally, was in the cafe next door, and people are ringing me up, do you know Gordon Ramsay's in, in, in Ripplenden? You know, what's he here for? So it was a real buzz for the village as well. Mm -hmm. We want to cement uh, the restaurants in the cities that we open. I think we, it feels like we're fairly established in Manchester and you know I think our you know our name does carry some sort of clout in Manchester. I think the key now is to establish those businesses in the cities that we open and, and we'll probably be a lot more strategic about, we've, we've got a clearer idea of what, what we need and we like nice buildings.